Hello and welcome to another edition of the Reserve Report, your source for what's going on locally and around the Reserve. I'm your host, Lance Corporal Melissa Martins. MAR Admin 361-16 asked for policy issues for the upcoming Marine Corps Reserve Policy Board. The deadline for submitting policy issues is September 29th. For more information and submission guidelines, check out the MAR Admin. Last month, Marines with 4th Force Reconnaissance Company served as part of a mobile training team in Columbia. The team worked with Colombian Marines to help them develop their reconnaissance tactics, techniques, and procedures. Up in Alaska, Marines from across Marine Forces Reserve participated in innovative readiness training Old Harbor to help the community of Old Harbor with the runway extension project. Our next video has more on the story. Marines with units from across Marine Forces Reserve are participating in a runway extension project during Innovative Readiness Training Old Harbor, Alaska, April 26th through August 6th. It's a project that we're working on extending the runway here out to 5,000 feet that's going to enable the town of Old Harbor to expand their economy. We bring Marines in on uh, rotations of two weeks, so 14-day orders for their AT, and they're involved in grading operations, HE operations, in order to extend this runway. Up to uh, this year, they had moved about 500,000 cubic yards of material. Uh, this year, we've moved about 155,000 cubic yards so far, and we're looking to go over 200,000 cubic yards by the end of the project this year. For every single reservist who's coming to this AT, they're doing training 10 to 12 hours a day in their MOS. If they're operating, they're getting a lot of stick time on all kinds of pieces of gear. If they're mechanics, they're doing maintenance work every single day. It's uh, really a non-stop training event for all these guys. This has been a great experience as far as running equipment that I've never had hands-on experience with. Almost every equipment out here I've never touched before. So it's been a great experience as far as me being able to use this back home in the real world. Without the IRT and the Marine support on the airport project, there would be no rock movement. We are forever grateful for the Marine support, for IRT support. Um, without you all here, we would not be moving forward. This project is not only building our infrastructure, but it's really helping to sustain our community, helping us to sustain our culture so people can stay home in the village and stay close to their cultural ties. Reporting from Old Harbor, Alaska, I'm Sergeant Ian Leonis. That does it for this edition of the Reserve Report. As always, for more news, photos, and videos, check out our website at www.marforez.marines.mil. I'm Lance Corporal Melissa Martins. Thanks for watching.